Welcome to the first episode of Give Me the Tools, the video series helping teachers establish the web presence right for them, one step at a time. I'm Mark Coleman. In the age of the internet, the greatest informational tool in the history of mankind, many teachers are yet to establish an online presence. Many feel intimidated. Where do I start? What is the learning curve like? Others are provided tools by their school or their system. Most of the time, these tools for the web are clumsy or non-intuitive or lock a teacher down into a one-size-fits-all website. Luckily, we live in the age of ubiquitous tools to make websites, and one of the best and easiest to set up and use is Sites, directly from Google. Give Me the Tools has the goal of making your website easy to set up with Google Sites. In a series of short videos, the methods of setting up your website, making it accessible and easy to navigate, and customizing the site will be explained one step at a time. Instead of a wall of text with new and arcane terms, you can get a short video explaining exactly what to do. Later videos will explain how to create specific functionality in your site and make it do all sorts of interesting things to make your life easier. To get started creating your website, you need a Google account. This can be your normal Google account, the same one you started when starting a Gmail or Android account, or if Sites is enabled by your school or system, you may use your Google Apps for Education account. For demonstration purposes for all of these videos, we will use a standard Google account. Also, the Chrome browser will be the browser of choice for these demonstrations, but Sites should work with all modern browsers. A link to Chrome will be in the notes for this video, as well as at the Give Me the Tools website. When you are logged into your account, in the black navigation bar at the top of your browser window is a list of Google services. One of these will be Sites. If you don't see it, manually point your browser to sites.google.com. After navigating by any introduction to screens that may appear your first time working with Sites, choose Create. In later videos, we will talk about some of the more advanced features, but for now, we're going to start by making a basic website. Choose a blank template and then name your site. Make sure the name identifies the site as for your class. I will be using the name Mr. Coleman's Classroom Site. Google is going to provide a web address known as a URL or URL automatically for you and will let you know if a site already exists with that name if you're using Google Apps for Ed. You may select a theme to add some color or graphics to your site. Since we're starting simply, I'm going to choose a theme with just some basic colors. Finally, you may enter a description of your site. Click the Create button and your site has been created. You're not ready for launch yet, but you're on the way. Thank you for watching this first episode of Give Me the Tools. Please check back on GiveMeTheTools.com for the Capturing the Narrative audio podcast, where I will cover issues, news, and opinions regarding teachers and their presence on the internet. Remember, if you're not letting the world know about what you and your students are accomplishing, no one will know. Output transcript Out